Good day everybody, welcome back to the studio. I hope everybody's doing well and uh, enjoying their weekend. It's Saturday here in Australia and it's a wet one and I already did quite a bit of work and now I thought I might play a little bit before dinner time. So what I have here, this is, oh my god, I don't even know how old, but it was a resin piece that I didn't like at all, so I decided to just put some some glitter all over it, and it's so shiny and glittery. Seriously, you need sunglasses to, to look at this. It's just unreal, but it's just too much. So I thought I might just uh, mix some resin, which I did. Okay, so I will... Um, add a little bit of color and because this is already so shiny and shimmery uh, I'm going to add some crushed mirror to it <laughs> just to add to more shimmer but it's not too shimmery that one uh, but I do need to add either a dark color or a light color or a really transparent color to sort of tone this down a little bit but uh, I don't know let me just start here with this area here which I want to where I want to put my my glass my crushed mirror glass and over here as well okie dokie so just adding some resin here now clear resin in those couple of spots and then um, adding some crushed mirror which actually immediately dulled down that area and made it look it's in the typical one always jumps out so scoop it up put it back in its place go back there buddy um, yeah it's uh, it's amazing how that little bit of um, you know crushed mirror or anything else that you would really put in there would would definitely make a difference because like I said it was super glittery uh, just way too much but it you know it saved my canvas you know, I didn't trash it, I didn't throw it in the bin, um, I saved it, and it's just like, I've got so many of them to do, you know, but I'm excited, because I know that I can save them all, and, uh, you know, be happy, be happy that uh, I've, you know, done something, and uh, didn't give up, never give up don't throw away your pieces i always tell that to everybody fair enough you don't like it the customers don't like it pour something over it that's what's the beauty about um, resin art you can always put another layer on fix it up because i've got some oh my gosh i fixed these probably a couple of years ago just some pigments with, with some alcohol and this one was uh, sorry magenta mica and alcohol I just want to see what happens if I just go like this now that's going to dry because it's got so much alcohol in it I'll just leave it like that. And I've got another one here. This one I think is royal purple. With alcohol. Always have to give them a really, really good shake. Shaky, shaky. Let's see if I can do the same. So, oh, gosh. Let's try it this way. Safer. Now I have to wipe it because I dipped this in that resin. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, let's see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to mix up some colors now. Okay, so I decided to go with um, a satin white. I'm just going to mix up a little bit in here first. And pop some in. Quite a bit. And maybe a stirrer. Don't worry, that's not a dirty stirrer, it's just been used and sealed. I like these little cocktail forks, 
So they're made out of bamboo and they're quite sturdy. All right, so I've got that pretty much done. Now I've just got to add some more. This satin white's so cool. It does some really nice things in coasters. Now just to... Um, maybe I put a bit too much powder in there. It's not going to affect my resin. It's just really um, thick now. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with my pipette. It's going to be a bit difficult because it's so thick the way I've mixed it. But anyway. In you go. Coming all, all by itself. Look at that. I think it's had enough now. So I'm holding it, hold, putting pressure on it so I don't let any air in. Now we're just going to go, I might just go around here. It's not too bad. This looks really nice here too. Oh gosh, let's do it again. This here is such a pretty colour. It looks a little bit like uh, a coral. It's lovely. Okay, let's just suck up a little bit more. It's going to be geode-ish inspired, not quite a geode. Okay, let's go. Like that. So interesting. I'm not going to follow that one. I think it's just out of whack, that one there. <clears throat> okay. Maybe I should follow it. Because it looks kind of interesting. Okay, let's go. I might just change the shape. I might just go make it more rounder. Like that. Because I do like that silver colour. Very interesting. I'm going to add some more here. Okay, so I'm popping in and out of audio because some, some parts I, I would like to keep of the original video. And some I think I just uh, need to speed them up a little bit. So just adding some more crushed mirror there. And as you can see, it just uh, works really, really well. Still gives it a really nice glamour. But not as um, in your face as it was before with just the, the glitter. And no, no actual real shape or form or anything. I just... Um, I just kind of dump the glitter on there just to save the piece for the next project, project being this one now. Oh, that just pops. That is so cool. So cool. Just giving it a nice thin layer of clear just wow that is so awesome so much better with the with the clear resin over that just makes it look so fabulous okay it's going to pour it all in there. Well, now I can really see what that glitter is. That's that holographic glitter. It's so nice there. It's really, really pretty. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create. I like that area there. I'm just going to create another little 
shape here. Just go like that. And like this. Isn't it wonderful how that pipette just creates perfect lines? I mean, I know some of them look a little bit fat and odd, but uh, that's because I wasn't really being careful. So, But uh, I love the, the control that you get with a pipette. Um, sort of similar with, with um, a piping bag, I guess, that you can make up. But pipettes are just so much easier to use. You don't need to prepare anything. So just putting that crushed mirror around and making sure that the center is um, showing that gold glitter that I have in there. I really like that look. And then I can probably go after when it when it's all sets and everything, I can go around with uh, my pens and just... Um, outline some some areas but I like that now that's really really interesting so that's it for this one so don't throw away any of your artwork it's still art it's still a substrate and uh, you can give it some love like this glitter's great for that gems and crushed glass for that Oh, that is so cool. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to fiddle a little bit, do my lines, because I love doing that. Just like that. See, that's what I was thinking I could probably do with, with a pen. Just go around and do some more lines like this. See? Just kind of... Something like that. Anyway, whoa, it's glittery. So nice. Anyway, adding some more here. All right, well, that's it. I'm going to uh, bring you down closer so you can see how it looks, and then I'm going to show you how it looks when it's all set up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so just showing you what it, what it looks like. I decided to put... Uh, a little mound of some acrylic diamonds and then sit uh, a dragonfly on top of it just to finish the the piece you can see it there and I did that off camera and then I did another piece same size it's about 20 by 25 centimeters that's this one here uh, another one with similar colors and I thought I'd jazz this one up, up as well and just showing you how how wonderful it looks out in the sunlight oh my god the sun's shining right on it and it's oh my god gorgeous 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 really nice for a for a little girl's room i think bright colors beautiful all jammy and pearly and glittery just what girls like well most girls some girls you know like different things but yeah, I, I really love it. I think it's great. And somebody's going to get this as a present. And I'm not saying who just yet. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, I'll see you again in another video. Bye for now. Love you all.